We're here. We are here. We're here. We are here. We're the Controversy Podcast. This is the World of Controversy Podcast. 38. The podcast that gives you all forms of controversy. Episode 38. This is episode 38. 38. Yes, y'all. Y'all heard us right. We episode 38. Almost a 40. Almost a 40. I feel good. Um, I feel great, actually, Rob. I just turned 26, as a lot of people may know. Happy birthday to me. Um, the podcast, thank you. The podcast is about to turn two years old next, this, this month. Yes, two years. Two years that we've been doing this. Two years of controversy, the 21st, the World of Controversy podcast, the most controversial podcast in the greater Philadelphia Mm. region, and some would even say brings forth all forms. Of controversy. controversy. <laughs> yes! I love it! I love it! We make two years. I mean, two years I had to deal with your crap. Oh, man. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two years, man. Well, you've been dealing with my crap for well over two years. Oh, uh, well, that, well, two years, but now two we years just recorded of, in of archive. really <laughs> dealing with your crap, like even more than what I had to deal with before. Come on, man. Come on, man. I didn't know he was off until I really started doing this podcast with him, y'all. When, when we started doing the behind wait, the wait, scenes, wait, wait, that's wait, when wait, I started wait, to be wait, like, Rob. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Rob. I'm off? I'm off? Yes. What about you? When hold them folks start talking about them white folk not washing their hair, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I see what's going on <laughs> way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I ain't lie, though. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we I go. I ain't lie, though. Sugar and grits. Hey, that goes together, right? <laughs> that definitely goes together. World of Controversy podcast. Um, I'm super glad to be here. If you've <laughs> never listened before, thank you. Welcome. My name is Jerm Griffin, and uh, you can follow me at Jerm.Griffin. This is Julian Rob, J. Rob the Great. Um, You can follow me on Instagram at jwizzle underscore. Absolutely, absolutely. And I do have a Twitter, Germ Twix. We got the Twitter on deck. Oh, I thought you were gonna promote your FB, bro. <laughs> you 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 funny. Uh no, you ain't <laughs> promoting the FB no more. Alright. Um and of course you can follow the podcast W O C underscore podcast on Instagram, W O C underscore pod on Twitter. Super excited. You can listen to this podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Spotify, Anchor, Podchaser, Apple Podcasts, Podcast, Podcast, Google, Google Podcasts. Podcast. Absolutely. We in sync here. I know. I like that. Mm. Um, after 37 episodes, we finally got in sync on 38. Very good. <laughs> um, so, nuclear energy. Oh, what are we talking about today, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, usually uh, ask the question already off my thing. What are we talking woo, about today, bro? Get a little home today, but it's okay. All right, we are talking about these nuclear energy. Is it safe? Is it dangerous? Ooh. No. no. Nuclear energy. Edgar was my life. Uh, oh, man. Okay. Well, if you do, nuclear might be your thing because some people are saying this joint is like mad dangerous. Yeah, but some people are saying it's the most safest. Yeah, so <laughs> I know. <Ooh. laughs> Yo, I asked on that. <laughs> and I'm like, what What you think about? I asked a few people about this topic, by the way. And then what you mm-hmm. think about nuclear? What you think about nuclear? And someone said it's the same as <laughs> renewable. I'm like, mm-hmm. wow. Um, there are so many people that disagree with that. I, you know, I, I, doing this research, I really am on the fence about it. I, I do think we, you know, I'm not going to just put my opinion out there. I want to give y'all both sides, and me and Rob did do research for this. I knew about nu- nuclear, but nowhere close to as much as after this week, um, for sure. Um, what, what, did, what was your thoughts going in, and what were your thoughts coming out? Wow, I mean... I did thought nuclear was dangerous. Um, now I'm like, I don't even know. This is kind of like on the fence. I know, like, it's like. Uh, all right, now have you heard of the theory that nuclear isn't real? I didn't hear that theory. 
that them towers are just producing water vapor and got y'all thinking that something's up. I ain't hear that. Then there's some people thinking the radiation ain't real. Oh, there were people in Chernobyl. They never died from the radiation. No, but I did hear that um, they monitor some of that stuff. Okay, like yeah. The radiation and everything. Right. And that they, there is very little, like, um, nuclear accidents that has yes. happened. Yes, that's what I hear, too. Like, there are some, and, like, the amount of accidents that happen is so little that... Right, right. We can, like, continue going with nuclear energy and really use it and be okay with it. And uh, yeah, yeah. I So, and I think you're bringing up a good point, Rob. It hap like these nuclear accidents happen so little, and I heard someone even go as far to say the reason why we're scared of nuclear is because only a few big high profile cases, Fukushima and Fukushima, yeah, that's Chernobyl one and Chernobyl, Three Mile Island. Like yeah. besides those three, or and maybe there's one or two, is there any other reason why you're afraid of nuclear? Like, really, no, really think about that. Mm. Besides literally five places having meltdowns or exploding or radiation there. No, granted, those are big. I, I think hundreds of people died. I don't even know if thousands of people died. Did How many people died from Fukushima? I don't know. Um, but some of that radiation is still going into the ocean even today as we speak. I mean, like, accidents like that. Is very catastrophic. Catastrophic. Yes. So, you do got a point to be worried if yes something goes wrong with the nuclear yes energy yeah and these nuclear power plants. Yes. And it's like okay. Even though the numbers are low that they say right, if something happened to one of these power plants was to like let's say one of them blew up right. Mm. Wow. That type of catastrophicity yeah. would be... That calamity, yeah. Calamity. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, thank I like you. that Ooh. one, too. Yeah. Ooh, I like it. You you added some synonyms in here. Mm. <laughs> but that calamity would be so... Mm, like, so deadly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because with these nuclear energy... Now... These accidents are deadly. Yeah. Like, getting into the ocean. That is something that is like polluting in the water. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And it's not like that's an easy fix. No. No. In fact, I, I, I don't even know what is the fix for radiation getting into the ocean. Um, yeah, you're, you're bringing up a good point. Mm -hmm. I and I really need to do more research on the remediation of radiation. I've I've done so much research on what my biggest thing was. Okay, so what happens when this radiation comes out? Mm. What does that look like? Some people get lymphoma, mm. cancer. Whenever no you, they say, whenever you mutate a a gene, cancer is always gonna take place almost. So. When that radiation starts to come out and leaks out, cancer gets caused because of the uh, the mutations of the genes. Now, this is not just caused by a meltdown. Remind you, they have to mine something called uranium. Mm, come and, on. and me and you watched that video. So uranium is a, a metal that they use, it's actually one of the heavier on the periodic table, when they split uranium-235, uranium. the isotope, when they split it, that's how they get fission, and bada bang, bada boom, that's where we get nuclear energy. So they're looking for a specific metal. It's not like they can use gold and every other met any metal. No, no, they're looking for a specific metal, and that metal did did cause cancer to the Navajo people in mm. in America. Mm, you bringing up the Navajo? Come on. Am I wrong? Like you're not wrong. You're not. 
In fact, they tell me the United States don't even mine uranium because of what the mining did to people. So it's not even just the reactor itself getting to the point where, oh, it's, it's hitting uh, 2200 degrees Celsius. 2200 degrees Celsius, them rods in the nuclear plant begin to melt. And that's when the meltdown happens. But the when the radiation comes out of that, okay, we understand that. It's horrible. But even to mine uranium, mm. there's radiation coming off the bare rock. Now, obviously not as much. Obviously it's not heated. Obviously it didn't explode. But you're mining the uranium and everyone around can feel the radiation come off this thing. Come on, brother. It's amazing how God has us planted. We got rocks that all these spiritual new age people <laughs> running around <laughs> here with these rocks. Man, we got a rock on planet Earth that if you're even around, they give you cancer. Now tell me that ain't crazy. Oh, that is crazy. That is. Wow. So they're looking for that rock, and that rock is going to help save the planet. How? <laughs> huh? I'm serious. How? Well, there are a bunch of good things about nuclear. I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of reasons why I think nuclear is pretty cool, man. Mm -hmm. From what I was reading, nuclear is actually one of the most efficient energies. It is. So I want to talk about something called capacity factor. Capacity factor. Now, check this out. It's about efficiency. Capacity factor is how much energy could be produced at optimal posit conditions versus how much is actually produced. So, let's say that I had you, Rob, mm -hmm. and you were a runner. Mm -hmm. And your optical, optimal position, you're on it. You're happy that day. You're, you drank your Red Bull. You're spiritually good. You're physically good. You can run 85 miles per hour. That's wild. Mm -hmm. But six days out of the week, you only run 20 miles per hour, 30 miles per hour. In that one day, you're going to hit 85 miles per hour. Well, nuclear, let's say it can produce 100% of the energy it can produce on a good day. This happens 92% of the time within a year. Mm. That means that most of the time that that nuclear power plant is running is producing the max that it could. Solar can't do that, neither can wind. The max mm -hmm. solar produces only happens very little bit of the time. Mm. Same thing with wind. But every time that nuclear plant going, yeah, it's producing just about the max that it could. And, um, and it's less know. costly than solar. Now, what do you mean by that? Because yeah. initial cost, I disagree. Because solar energy, right? Yeah. The fuel from solar panels yeah. does cost a lot. Okay, yeah. Nuclear is not... As big costly as like the solar energy. No, I disagree with that. You disagree? Nuclear. One of the main reasons why we don't have more nuclear is because of the cost. Is it? Yeah, them drones are like nine billion dollars. I mean, well, to start it up, but yeah, the initial cost. Yeah. But to like keep it going though. To keep it going. Okay, now you you might have a point yeah, there. To keep it going. Like, yeah, solar energy, to keep that solar panel and fuel, fuel in these solar panels, yeah. and then, you know, the cost is high. You know, me and you is about to get yeah, yeah, some yeah. solar panels. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> yeah. brother. You know. Yeah, but well, don't you. Hey, w wait. I actually did buy a solar panel. Yeah. Could, could I get a nuclear plant? No. No, you can. You can get solar panels. Oh, man. You can't get solar you, panels. You got me cranking up. But what what y'all talking about? We talking about nuclear energy, X tag, the voice. Now 
You can get silver energy. Yeah. But get you some of that um uranium you can get some nuclear energy too. <laughs> That's true. I wanna know how hard it is to find uranium. Um just go mining. It it is a everywhere. It right. can't be it's everywhere. Not, it's not everywhere. Of course not everywhere. You know, that's one of the reasons why the US did not put a sanction on Russia for uranium. Yup. You yo, heard that yo, too, right? Yo, yeah. You just Isn't that crazy? Point. You was about to hit my oh, Listen, the US during the Ukraine Russia thing, they literally stopped Russia this, that, oil, gas, da da da, all this. But they can't. They put cannot. The they cannot put a sanction on uranium. uranium. There's Where really only does? three countries producing it. Mm-hmm. Um, the uranium rods, which is uranium that's been mined and then enriched with uranium isotope 235, which is the isotope needed for the fission process. Bam! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, y'all gotta get into some science. What's someone say? Hey guys, who is that? I can barely see. I can barely see either. Oh, better than 21. I see. Awesome. Hello. We're reading comments today. We are reading comments today. We do a live. Hello, hi. How you doing? Awesome. Fantastic. Um, wow. Hey, guys. It's always good to get people to say hey. I no, it, it is. And we appreciate you guys on uh, that's watching and listening to us. We appreciate and we love each and every one of you. Yes, yes. We love the people that listen to the podcast, the YouTube, and we do love our live people. You know, we were doing lives even before <laughs> we got the podcast started. Yes. So, um, yes. And please give feedback. Give yes. Feedback. We love it. Yes. We're the Controversy Podcast, of course. Um,. Rob, I got a question for you. Okay. How long is uranium rods radi? How long is it still radioactive? Um, doesn't that stay radioactive for a while, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, like some years, right? Keep going. Some years, maybe some decades. Uh, keep going. Centuries. Amen. Hmm. Plutonium and depleted uranium. Talking about the plutonium. Plutonium and depleted uranium are byproducts of a nuclear reaction. Mm. They can stay radioactive for a third of a million years. For you cats out there that that are not good at math like me, that's three hundred thousand years. Mm-mm. Meaning that the uranium and the ple- I mean the, the the plutonium in depleted uranium we have literally will be on the planet for way past any of our grandkids. It, way past any memory of us, the uranium and the energy we're using now will still be done with that weight. Mm. But That's- it is why it's so valuable. And this is why some people say it's so dangerous. Is it worth it, Rob? Is it worth it? You mm. tell me. You want me to tell you? Yeah, you I tell mean, me. It's energy. It's energy. So, it's, it works for us. Right. I mean, look. Look at all the, um, look at all that it's doing for us. Yep, yep. I, I'm just trying to figure it out because oil and gas don't really stay around for that long, and neither do them solar panels you're talking about. Yeah, they're, they don't. Yeah. So, yeah, it don't stay on for that long, but um, for these uranium. Yeah. I mean, that's a long time. I mean, a third of a million years. I mean, they do got a point. Like, what are we going to do about that? Like, really? You know what we're going to do? What? You know what we're going to do? What? We're going to continue using this nuclear energy, right? Uh Uh-huh. Keep going. And I'm about to read this comment real fast. Okay. 
Okay. Man, people commenting. At WOC underscore podcast. Is it harmful to humans in the long run? Better 21. Is it harmful to humans in the long run? Well, first thing first, whoever's asking, the mining has to get better. People need safe mining of uranium. Very safe. And second thing second, we need to make sure we know what we're doing with that depleted uranium for the next, I don't know, a third of a million years. That's true. It gives you cancer. Yes. Beta. Oh, yeah, go ahead. But they say they have people that monitor it and monitor, like, the radiation and everything. So, So it could be safe. Like, and then like, they say like after like the few accidents, they look for like to increase like the um, what is it like the um security? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They increase the security. So that's yeah. another thing. We can't let any get out. With that being said, um, I think it's a good time for a break, Rob. Yes, we about to go on break. Yes. But our Instagram people are going to be live, so we're still going to entertain y'all. All right. Entertain. Listen, we will be right back. We'll be right back. We are back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're the Conspiracy Podcast, episode 38. Thank y'all for tuning in. Yes, thank y'all for tuning in. We got really science episode today. Oh, man. This is a good one. So, last I was saying is how they monitor the nuclear reaction and the radiation. And for the few accidents that happen, they increase the security yeah. and find new ways of, like, keeping it safe. Right, right. So, right. that's how, and how many decades has it been? Mm. Oh, man. That we've been using these nuclear power plants, nuclear energy? Well, it really ramped up in the 70s. The, the 70s, 70s is where it ramped up. But nuclear got started in the 50s. Got started in the 50s. So, yep. Yep. we got... Yeah. So, the technology keep getting better. Technology keep getting better. Yes. And I think that's a big part of it, Rob. Um, okay, peep game, peep game. I'm not saying I'm against nuclear because nuclear, I'm only going to some pros too because they do got a lot of pros. Mm-hmm. But let's say this. We got rid of nuclear, outlaw it in every country. Right okay. now, nuclear is the second largest source of low carbon electricity in the world. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's say we got rid of it. No one uses it. It's too dangerous. We're scared that it's going to leak out, give people cancer. Okay. Let's go. What about all the technology that could really get better with nuclear? I mean, literally, you're saying it right now. If we bamp up the security, that may stop the whole meltdown thing from even happening. Yeah. Um, and there's control rods in the nuclear plant that can control if the thing, you know, if it gets out of hand, it can kind of control the fission process to kind of stop it. And I, I don't know. The point is that, like, what if we stop it? We're so scared of it right now that we don't progress with nuclear. You know what I mean? Then all the things that the nuclear energy have powered up, well... Go right, and then it will affect our everyday lives, of course. Yeah, yeah, nuclear makes up about 10% of the electricity on the planet 10% of the energy or electricity. There is a difference between two BT dubs, but uh, I think electric 10% of the electric and nuclear, but different countries have drastically different amounts of nuclear power like the France it makes up 70 percent mm. of their energy or their electric whatever mm. I mean that's a lot like if we got rid of nuclear like what are they gonna do like if we don't want to burn coal or gas those are like horrible 
Nuclear, I mean, here's the biggest pro, and this is the one that a lot of people go to. I know you already know about it. Nuclear does not produce any carbon. Mm, Period. Right. No, obviously, there's a lot of people, oh, well, neither do wind and gas, neither does wind and solar. Well, that's true. But remind you, first thing first, solar does take a little bit of carbon to make the solar panel. That um, is true. And I believe the same thing with wind. No, I'm not saying nuclear, it don't take none. Obviously, we already know you got to mine uranium, so that's bad for the environment. But anyway, the point is that, okay, Rob, we got a source of energy that will produce no carbon. And carbon is the reason why we got supposedly climate change now. So mm. why are you not promoting nuclear? Because, like you heard, people are scared of it. I don't get it. Like, I, you know, I'm trying to figure it out. It doesn't produce yeah, any carbon. They're scared that the nuclear radiation yeah. will cause them to burn their skin. <laughs> <laughs> they tell me coal has a little bit of radioactive stuff in it. So. Oh, man, we getting comments today. Always good. We getting some comments. But, but is it worth it? There are... There are a lot of unknown when it comes to nuclear energy. They need to be more field tests. Okay, I don't I understand what they mean. There's a lot of unknowns when it comes to there need to be more field tests. Okay, here's a field test. Throw someone up in that reaction and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that being said, what she's saying is kind of legit. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> Why did some people not die when they were on Chernobyl? And this is when the conspiracy theorists really got to start questioning, like, is this stuff real? <laughs> like, the dude just told me, my my supervisor on the job told me, he's she like, got the emoji. She's got the laughing emoji. Ah, she she got wants more field tests. We can do a field test right now. <laughs> can take her over there. <laughs> hey, Ron, keep game, though. He said that the reaction was going off, and Russia told the people to go into the water tank and turn the thing off. And he said, oh, you're probably going to die while you do it, but can you please do it to save us? So the people ah. did it, and guess what? What? They didn't die. While the thing was going off, while the radiation was leaking, they went in, turned the bomb off, and left and never died. Mm. <laughs> this is why I'm like, wait, how is this real? I don't know like, about that. One. No, but the dude just told me today. He was like, Russia was like, listen, can you do this for our country? Because if you don't turn it off, the drone got to splatter and kill everybody. <laughs> so they went back in to turn the thing off, and they didn't die. Yeah. <laughs> like, this, bro, this is the conspiracy theories we talk about. So. Like, what would happen? <laughs> like, and I keep trying to ask people, okay, cancer, okay, mutations, okay. But, yo, really, like, I want to feel the radiation. You want to feel it? You want to go and sit here and, <laughs> sit here and see it? Bro, if I make it out alive, I'll be like, y'all, <laughs> it's not real. What about if you get mutated? Well, that would be a bad joint. Yeah, that yeah, would be yeah, hard. Come in, so as the uh, X Men. <laughs> right, I'll be Deadpool. <laughs> wait, 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 you're being that uh, joint like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> no! no, the Hawk. Oh yeah, yeah, he's another one. Gamma, one. gamma radiation. Remember that yeah, was yeah. what it did it for the Hawk. Yeah, and they, he is the Hawk. Yup. You're right, though. That it is the whole... Exactly. And they say it's beta and gamma radiation that's actually coming off of this used-up uranium rod when it when it's mm. completed. So after they use this rod, you know, gamma rays and and beta rays coming off this thing for 300,000 300, years. But, but no carbon, brother. So oh, you're not heating the planet. But hold on. You can't go through those radiations, though. No radiation is going to burn your, your skin off. That's what I'm thinking. But the bull just said the dudes went in there to turn the water tank off and made it out alive. And I heard there were people to stay on Chernobyl. 
They but lived in Chernobyl. If you go through the radiation, more likely, most likely, your skin is going to be burnt. That's what I'm thinking. It will melt your freaking body. But, but, if you go in, just. But who do you know skin. had that happen to? I mean, I my eyes officially know, but. Well, I need to talk to someone. Or I need to talk to someone who knew somebody like, yo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh-huh. The radiation level was probably low. The radiation? No, no, uh, no. I was, I was thinking that too. No, first. no, no. The radiation was not low. I now I got to find a story. Now I was thinking now that Now I got to find a story. Listen, it wasn't low because, remind you, they're at the reactor. So whatever, that's the highest it could get. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't get any higher than right at the reactor's location. It wasn't low. It wasn't low. Them guys went in there, they turned that thing off, and lived to tell about it. I I just heard about this today. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm trying to figure this thing out. And I hear that people lived, literally lived at Chernobyl and never left. They were evacuating everyone in the town, and there were some probably old women, probably old women, I assume, mm-hmm. that wanted to stay. You know, their house is there, they don't want to evacuate, and lived. Hmm. That's why I'm like, no, that radiation might be low. No, I'll give y'all that. That radi- radiation m- might have been low. But if you're in the reactor, reactor turning valves and stuff, you're getting hit with everything that's coming out, I would think. <laughs> right? I don't know. Um, Have you ever heard of death rate per terawatt? I thought this was a funny... Um, stat. So a terawatt is the um, unit of electrical energy produced. They have the amount of electrical energy by death rate. So, mm-hmm. now this guy's numbers was kind of off. I feel like from what I looked up, but he said that coal has a terawatt per hour rate of twenty five. So twenty five people die. For every terawatt hour being used, mm. biomass has under five deaths per terawatt. Natural natural gas has two to three deaths per terawatt. Nuclear has 0. 0.07. Mm. And he says wind has 0. 0.04, and that's because of people maybe falling from like installing the wind thing. Mm-hmm. Solar is low again, people falling off roofs. Well, they do say. The wind, um, what is it, what was it that was, I just read, that was saying, like, the nuclear was safer than the wind, but the, um, the wind picks up a lot of, like, um, animals that yeah, yeah. get killed, and nuclear doesn't. Yeah, 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 that's true. I, I yeah. know about that. I know some birders are mad at wind energy, because wind turbines do kill birds. Yeah, yeah the wind it turbines. Does. It does. I'm a big fan of wind. I like geothermal and I love solar. I absolutely am in love with solar and wind. Um, I understand what they're saying. Okay, it's safer. It's not safer. But we don't have to deal with any product for a third of a million years with solar. You don't. I'm just really thinking, okay, maybe I got a negative mindset, Rob. Mm-hmm. We know all the BS they did with COVID. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Episode nine, episode nineteen. We know all the BS they did with this and that, milk and this. Two face. Two face. Mm. What if they they find a way? Let's say a hundred years from now, we're going our kids here, <laughs> and the mm. government like. Oh, yeah, we're going to try to terrorize the people with the nuclear waste from years ago. So they go back and open up one of these cases and get some of that uranium and, like, throw it at people or something. Mm. Like, can it be the weapon? Okay. Like, imagine someone putting it in, like, one of them guns from, like, Ratchet and Click. I don't know. Like, uh, Ratchet and Click you, or, like... Now you look at stuff the movies be doing, but... Am I wrong? Like, it wasn't there... Wrong. Yeah, like... They put it in the gun, 
Guardians Galaxy. Guardians, Guardians of, the Galaxy of the Galaxy stuff. Galaxy. They stuff it in a gun and they shoot it at another country. And now you get hit not with a bullet. You get hit with a whole glob of uranium, depleted uranium. Now you're dead. You go home, your whole family dead. Why am I getting a call? Oh, wow. World of Controversy Podcast, episode 38. Super excited, super glad to be here. Rob? Yeah. So, like he was saying about the, um, about the, um, the radiation being used as a weapon. That's, I'm, I'm going to say this. That's not impossible. Not impossible. That's very likely possible. It's so possible that it's kind of happening now. Mm. Did you, you, you must have read my mind because I was about to hint here. Let's talk about the atom bomb. It, it is a, it, fission. Let me take it away. Take okay. It. Okay, so you have fission and you have fusion. Come on, fission and fusion. Fission is when you take a heavy metal like uranium and you break it apart and energy comes out of it. Mm -hmm. Fusion is when you take really small um, elements and you fuse them together and energy come out of it. Hmm. We haven't been able to do fusion yet. They've been talking about it. They've been trying to figure it out. But fission actually is already getting done, obviously through the reactor and through atom bombs. The difference between this and that is that with the atom bomb, it causes the bomb to explode, whereas with the reactor, the fission is causing energy to take place, the energy... Makes the rods heat up. The heat gets put in the water or uh, surrounded around water. Steam turns a turbine and electricity is produced. Mm. So fission is literally happening in a reactor, which y'all are telling me is going to save the planet. And fission is also happening in the gosh dang atom bomb that y'all telling me could destroy your soul. Can someone make this make sense? Why are y'all breaking up all these molecules and thinking it's cool? Oh, it don't produce no carbon. Oh, well, whoop de doo It could cause a bomb. And then we left with waste that could literally give me and my grandchildren cancer. Uh. Uh. That being said, I, I think we should not give up nuclear. And it's so many benefits. It produces so many elect so so much electricity. It's not even funny. I forget. I don't even want to look up the numbers. I couldn't even find the numbers, but um, it produces so many more times electricity. Oh. Wow! It produces so much oh. more electricity. <laughs> And, um, <laughs> I, it's, and, uh, yeah, so nuclear is definitely something I think we need to stay, and, um, yeah, yeah it's something that I guess need to stay. Friend Veta 21 says, anything can be weaponized. Um, I got to say this. Okay. The nuclear power plant right now. To stay, okay. To continue to be monitorized. Yes. And yeah, until we get something like major, major that happens. Yes. Yes. Then we continue using it. All right. Yep. But right now we're at our time. Sorry to cut this one a little short. For sure. Yeah. Um, I feel like we might do a part two because. Yeah. This one, there's way more information. That there is a lot more info. And this is a real debate, like, in the environmental community. We didn't um, even hit them on the government part of it yet. Ooh. But, uh... I want to get into more of the conspiracy part. Ooh. Oh, that too. Is radiation even real? Oh, man. That too. Where are some but, papers? I know. Go ahead. We'll see you guys next time. Oh, uh, but, um... 
Follow us on Instagram, WOC underscore podcast. Um, Twitter, WOC underscore pod, right? Yep. Facebook, World of Controversy Podcast. Apple Podcast, Anchor, um, Google Podcast, Spotify, Podchaser, Podbean. Bet you, obviously, the World of Controversy Podcast. World of Controversy Podcast. And YouTube, WOC underscore pod. And that will be it for us. See you next time. Good night. Good night.